there, I'm going to do a video using the new version of Affinity 2.0. They just came out with it a couple weeks ago, or two weeks ago. And there's a little bit of a difference from version 1.0. Now, this is for the Epson 570 and Affinity for PC. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go to File and we're going to go to New and we're going to create, <coughs> excuse me, an artboard. Now you'll see everything is different from version 1. So I'm going to start with letter. You can always change the sizes and you can change it later on and we'll get to that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our layout and we have eight and a half by eleven in inches. I always do 300 dpi and prefer embedded. Next, this is very important, are your colors. This is the format and profile you're going to use for when you bring in a graphic that you bought off Etsy or something you created if you created it in RGB. So you're going to check or use, excuse me, RGB forward slash 8. Your color profile, and this is only for what you're bringing in, not for what you're printing. It's going to be the sRGB. IEC 61966-2.1. There are others, but you don't want to use them. Next is what color you want your board to be. Do you want a transparent background? This is white. I like to work in transparent. You can choose whatever you wish. Margins. In this version, they automatically gave you margins. That's what this blue line is. And I personally don't care for it, so I'm going to uncheck it. If you want margins, just check it and just change it here. Next is bleed. Keep everything at zero. And scale, you do nothing. And we're going to create our board now. And here we have our blank, and it's 8.5 by 11 letter size. So next we're going to bring in a graphic or something you've created. So we're going to go to File. We are not going to go to New or Open. Open is only if you've already created a file using Affinity and saved it. So what you're going to do is go to place. We're going to place it on our artboard. So we're going to place it and we're going to look for our graphic, whatever your file is, wherever you keep your graphics. And let's see what I want to do. I have too many. All right, let's do this one. So I'm going to click that. You're going to use your left mouse button and press down and then open. Now as you see I'm opening it you'll also see the width and the height. So let's say you're doing a a tumbler and you're on eight and a half by eleven letter size paper. If you want your image to be 9 by 8, I forgot what the tumblers are going. And as you see that I'm, when I'm pressing this, you also see the width and the height in the top left corner. Or you can just go here while it's highlighted and change it here. So 9.00, let's say by 8.00. And you'll see that'll change. And if you need it wider, again, you're going to change it here, the height and the width. So that's how you do it for a tumbler. Everybody asks me, well, how do I do this? 
and I'm, I'm just giving you an example because I don't remember what I do for my tumblers. All right, so we've got that going now. Also, some people say, well, I have the Epson 57A. I want to put a, a bunch of graphics uh, on my roll of paper. So what we're going to do is we're going to change our paper. So what you're going to do is go to Edit, or File, Document Setup, and we're going to change it here. So your width, let's say you're using the 17 inch roll. So you're going to put that in there. And let's do it by 14. That's the length. So your width is going to be the 17, 14 inches. You can always change this, anchor to page, and OK. And you see that's already changed. So the width, actually we've got to do it, I've got the width at 14, so let me make that change. Go back to um, document setup, that was my fault, so it's 17, 14. Okay. And I'm going to unlock it so it stays. So the width is going to be 17 by 14. I've unlocked it. And hit OK. So there we go. Get rid of that. So now you see your width on the roll of the paper is 17 inches. Now let's say you're doing ornaments. So what you're going to do is line them up here. And as you see, this is 5 by 4. I don't know what size. I'm just giving an example that you want to put a row of ornaments, or graphics. Next, we're going to duplicate it. Move it over one. Duplicate it again. Okay, so now we got three. Now let's bring in another picture. Let's say we're going to do a garden flag or something. So we're going to, again, go to Place, and I'm going to pick, um, let's see, yeah, let's do this one. And make it that size, that's 9 by 7. You get my drift here is what you can do. If you want to make it where you're going to add more or you need more space, then we're going to go back to File and the Document Setup and change the 14 inches to, let's say, 20. Okay, so we're at 17, and here we can add more, bring these up. And now you see what I'm talking about. Okay, now. I'm just going to show you one more thing that I think is cool with this, is the, um, the fonts, or the text. So let's say we want to say, welcome. So we're going to hit our text tool, come over here, and I'm going to type welcome. And you'll see it's very small, don't worry about it. We've still got this highlighted, and here's where you pick your fonts. So you can you see how they're, oh, I've got to highlight it. I'm sorry. Let me highlight it first. And now we're going to change the font. So you see each time it's a different font. So let's pick a cute font. Uh, let's do this one. This will be interesting. Okay, so now you've got your font, and you want to change the color. So let's go back and press this button, our Move tool. And we're going to go to, here's our color. You can change it to red. You can change it to any color you want. You can go here. 
and change the color also. You see that? And now let's do something fun. Let's use the eyedrop tool. That's this one. And we're going to pick this color. See where that little arrow is? I'm going to pick that green. So that matches. Now I'm going to go back and click that. And we're going to go to, we're in Quick Fix. So I want to do a bevel. Did you see how that beveled? Let me make this bigger so you can see it. And then you adjust the bevel. You can see that, how it's adjusting. Uh, you don't need the... You can play around with that. Now if you don't want the bevel, you can do an outline. And you can pick your color to outline. And we're going to do, I've got a black outline. You see, the more I go, I'm going to do it like that. I'm going to change the color. Change the outline to any color you want. That's hideous. <laughs> okay, or I can use the, the, this tool. And use this blue for the outline, or I guess I picked the wrong one. All right, we get the drift. All right, take it off outline. Let's do that. Oh, and 3D is also nice. I really like. 3D. And there are others. Do an inner shadow. As you can see, it's very light. And there's a lot of things you can play with. Inner glow, color overlay. You can do all sorts of stuff with this. It's just amazing what you can do with this. Changing the colors really is neat. Okay, enough with that. All right, now we're going to go to print. So we have our, what we call the gang sheet, 17, using a 17 inch roll. We've got all our pictures here. So now we're going to go to file and we're going to go to print. And we're going to pick our printer. And as you see, I have several. All right, now we're going to go directly to our printer properties. All right, so my settings were the, let me go back, I think I had it at, see that's the important part, what did I have been at? Uh, it was 17 by 20. Okay, so we're going to go back to File and Print. And 17 by 20. Okay, Properties. Your paper must be the same setting. So it has to be 17 by 20. So I'm going to go and do a User Defined. Hit OK. And then do the Custom. So my width is 17, and my height is 20. That's how we're going to change it. User defined, it's in inches, and we're going to hit OK. We're using the roll of paper. We're using the 17-inch roll. The media type. This is the profile that Epson gives you too. One is textile and the other one is this, this uh, rigid one that I never use. I don't use it for anything because I found that the colors are horrible with it. So I stay with textile. We're going to do off, no color adjustment because we're using affinity. 
When you're using Affinity, you're using a program that, that uses profiles, the Epson profiles. You don't want to use your printer program. You want to use this. So we've got off no color adjustment. You have your choice of quality. I like maximum quality. Do not use high speed. It goes back and forth real quick and we may get those gaps. I use finest detail. It puts down more ink. You don't have to use finest detail. It's fine like this. And if you think it's got too much ink, you can use quality. Take it off high speed, but my suggestions are maximum quality, finest detail. I also do print preview just in case I screw up, and I can see what it looks like. Next, layout. You see mirror image, advanced. Now this is what you have to remember. You're going to keep it on auto cut normal. Auto rotate and save paper roll, otherwise it's going to drag all the way out. This way it stops after the graphic and it will cut it. So you want that. Back to printer settings. We're done with the printer settings. We hit OK. Fit to printable. All sheets. Automatic. Now you see how that filled up. Now we're going to go to the Affinity settings, and our layout is the 17 by 20. Rasterization is the 300 dpi. We already set that up. Bleed and marks nothing. Color management. Okay, this is another thing. We're going to have it handled by the app, not the printer. We're going to use Affinity. So remember, Affinity and app. We'll start with A. Your printer profile, that's the profile that comes with the Epson. You're going to pick the textile, the same thing for your media. Has to be also in Affinity. Next, relative color metric. You'll get fantastic colors if you use this. If you have, let's say, um, face tones or faces or portraits, use the perceptual. That's more for face tones. Otherwise, keep it at that. And then you will hit OK. Once you hit OK, you're going to get the print preview. Someday you will get it. This is a big file now. And it's come to that. There it is. Now you see how it's going to look. Uh, don't worry about these colors. They will not press like that. So don't think, oh my god, those are the colors. You won't get your true colors till you press it. Once the heat, heat will activate the ink and then you'll get true colors. And everything looks good. Then you hit print. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to hit cancel. And that should do it. If you want to remove something like this, welcome. You just do that again. Just remember your sizing is over here. So if you want to make it bigger, that's where you do your sizing. That's where you, you will see it. And that's it. And if anybody has any questions, you can get me on Instant Messenger. It's Helen Coleman. And just let me know. Bye.